Everything that moves and doesn't move needs to follow Newton's laws of motion. If you want to rest then you need to give your reason to him. And if you really want to work and move still you have to give a reason. If your reasons match Newton's laws then it's absolutely fine. But if it violates then I'm really sorry. So what are these laws which protects nature's sovereignty? Isaac Newton was an English mathematician and physicist and is known to be one of the most influential people in history. As being a physicist, he made laws for moving and non-moving objects in the universe. A man before him named Galileo did experiments with inclined planes and he found out that objects did needed a force to continue to move in constant velocity along a straight line. Newton took the pieces of puzzles which he had left unclear and gave more clarity shaping his own laws of motion there are three laws given by him the first law every body preserves in the state of rest or of uniform motion in right lines unless compelled to change the state by forces impressed thereon this law is also known as the law of inertia that is the tendency of matter to stay at rest or to be in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force Inertia is pretty amazing property of matter. It's the resistance to the change in motion. So if you say I naturally come to rest without any unbalanced forces acting on you, you violate the physics laws. Now, the second law. The alternation of motion is ever proportional to the motive force impressed and is made in the direction of right lines in which that force is impressed. In this law, the acceleration of the body is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass. That is a is equals to f upon m or f is equals to m a. The unit is kilograms meter per second square, which is named after the great man, after all, as one Newton. The basic understanding is that force causes acceleration. The mass of the object is constant, and the force produces motion of the body. The second law is the most important of all physics. Coming to the third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you press on a hard surface like a stone, the stone will equally press your finger. To understand this, take the rocket. As the fuel burns and the thrust increases, it causes an action. And so the rocket is launched up into the space, causing an equal and opposite reaction. So action force is equal to minus the reaction force. But these laws are only applied to larger objects or objects having contact forces. There is one more problem. If an object obeys the law, it has to be in an inertial frame of reference. Newton's laws only hold in an inertial frame of reference. An object must move at a constant velocity and should not be accelerating. Newton had mentioned these laws in the Principia. These laws of motion were a complete revolution. He had completely changed our way of looking at the universe. Newton also discovered gravity and made many other great accomplishments like calculus. That's why he's one of the most influential people in history. Once a great poet said, Nature and nature's law lay hid in night. God said, let Newton be and all was light. Finally ending the age-old philosophy and Aristotle.